Hey all, today we're looking at this. This is a, uh, well, a soil humidity uh, sensor uh, to keep your plants healthy. Uh, so this is the Zigbee version. Let's unbox this. All right, have the, well, the little probe right here. Okay, so this is the probe. Okay, so we have the manual. Uh, thank you for purchasing this plant monitor and it takes two AAA batteries. So we'll do that right now. So I think this is um, removable. It's like a little cover. And then there's the back and we can pop it open. Okay, so I got the back off. Uh, and again, you can see it takes two AAA batteries. So we'll pop those in now. Okay, so I'm back with some AAA batteries and we'll just pop this in just like that. Now, okay, I think we'll leave the back open because I think that is the button for pairing and we'll pair it with Home Assistant. Okie dokie, so I'm in Zigbee to MQTT and I'm going to try and pair this device. Okay, so you hold it for a few seconds and then the light starts to flash. It's very faint. It's this blue blinking light uh, on. Okay, so it's found the device and it has paired successfully and we can see here that it says it's a TS0601 Soil 3. Uh, and we'll take a look and you can see we got a little picture of the device uh, and what is exposed. So we've got soil moisture, temperature, temperature unit, battery, battery state, and link quality. So this will keep track of the soil moisture and the temperature. So now what we'll do is we'll pop the back back on, uh, we'll put on the little silicone uh, cover, and we'll put it into a potted plant. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is my parlor palm. I've had it for several years and it's pretty healthy. Uh, and we have the probe. So I'll just in just like that into the soil. Okie dokie. And now we'll turn it around and hopefully that's enough. So what we'll do now is, now I haven't watered this in about a week. I have a cup of water, which I'm going to carefully pour into the soil and then see what it looks like on Home Assistant after we've just watered the plant. Okay, so we're back in Home Assistant and we can click on the moisture graph and we can see that after a while, it just kind of stabilize and it seems to report back about every five minutes with the current moisture readings. Uh, same thing goes for the temperature of the soil. And that about wraps it up for the data that's returned by this Tuya soil sensor. And there you have it. That about wraps it up for this Zigbee Tuya soil temperature and moisture sensor. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I might pick up another one. Um, there is a link in the description below again if you're interested in picking one of these up for yourself. And uh, I hope I see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see ya. Bye-bye.